Hey everybody, happy Independence Day. I hope you're all having a great day. Me and Cindy are out doing like a uh, complex uh, that used to be an old farm. So uh, it should be pretty good. And I don't think too many people have detected this. Hopefully we got lucky and no one has, but. I got a weedy. Anyway, you got a weedy. Good. Did. It looks to me, I could be wrong, but it looks like it's a 1912. 1912, are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Let I mean, me see. You have your glass, your magnifying glass. Yeah. And perhaps you could say it, make sure. Yeah, it's definitely a weedy. Um, okay, hang on to this. And let's see what we got here. I can, uh, I'm not an octopus, so I, I can't, uh, I can't do everything here. Come on, there we go. All right, let me take a look at this thing real quick. Nah, it looks like a 1950. You were close, 1912, <laughs> 1950. You were real close. Wow. You ever do that? I've done it many times. What? Yeah, it looks like a 1920, and it turns out to be like a 1958 or something. Well, you had the magnifying 58 glass. Well, yeah. Yo-ho, 1967 quarter. We'll take it. I'm in a spot where we could hit something good, I'm hoping. Let's put it in the bag and get rolling. All right, Cindy just got a find, and I just dug one up too. So let's see what she got first, then we'll go back. I got a Chuck E. Cheese token. Cool. Yeah, I just got one the other day. I know. Yeah. Let's keep collecting them. Before you know it, maybe we'll get a free pizza or something. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been there, to tell you the truth. Have you been there? Yeah, a couple times for yeah, kids. Not me. How yeah. come you didn't invite me? Uh, anyway, okay. There you go. There's Chuck E. Cheese on there. Isn't that him? Looks like him. Or a kid can be in something. Where a kid can be a brat. I mean, uh, a kid. Okay, on to the next. Cool deal. <laughs> Let's go back here and see what we got. Oh, it's nice. There's some nice big trees here. It's kind of shady. It's very hot today. 95 right now. And very, very humid. So it feels like it's like 120. Anyway, I see what I got here. I got a utensil. And it's a spoon. Oh, cool. Wow, that thing's can't be that old. Hmm, very nice. Very, very nice. Hmm, it almost looks like it's pewter. Could be. All right, I'll stick it in the bag and we'll clean it up later and hopefully uh, get a better look at it. So. All right, let's keep going. So far, we've only been here about 10 or 15 minutes and uh, getting some pretty good signals here. So uh, it's looking pretty good. Let's see what else we can find. Stick with us. All right, that's pretty odd. I just got another spoon. This one's pretty well flattened out, man. But I'll take it. I'll clean it up later. Look at that thing. Thing's flat. <laughs> Alrighty. Put it in the bag and keep going. Well, I just found that spoon. And, and I just found a spoon. Cindy just found a spoon. What did they do? Like those other utensils. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Don't know. We'll clean them up and see what we get. They used to have okay, I don't know what this is. It reminds me of like an electronic cigarette or something. I don't know. Don't know what it is, and I'm not going to sit here and take the time to decide. I'm going to put this in the bag, and I'm going to keep on going. See you at the next hole. Well, here's an interesting coin I got. You can see it. 
and it says like 3IJ on it. Um, it's some kind of uh, coin. It doesn't look like a token. It looks like some type of foreign coin. The thing's really thick. Look at it. It's fatter than a nickel. Much fatter. The other side, basically the same thing. You can see. I'll have to look this one up. But I'll take it. That's pretty cool. Cool little find. It's, it's very, uh, very rare that we find foreign coins anywhere we go around where we're at. But um, I'll take this one pretty cool. I will have to look this one up. On the bottom I thought it said Philadelphia and it says Falada or something on it. The top it says I think two drag almost like dragon but it's draggy draggy I don't know. Ah, we'll see. I'll put it in the bag and uh, we'll see what we got. Hey everybody just wanted to uh, break into the video here and give you an update on this what I thought was a coin or a token it's actually um, an apothecary weight and the pharmacist's name is on it it's H. Tromner and it's for two I believe it's pronounced DROMS um, but it says 3IJ on it and that would stand for two DROMS and uh, from Philadelphia um, really cool piece I think it's could be made out of brass some were made out of copper some brass some were even gold plated to make them easier to read I don't bother it's it's caked look at this thing another car I got I love little cars though yeah well you get them you, I love them you can <laughs> you can have it if you want it I'll <laughs> give it to you for free yeah, I think it's an old. I think it's an old one, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's old, but uh, it's pretty mud's pretty caked in there. Oh, look! You broke the windshield. Oh. Wow. I'm sorry. There's no car. windshield. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll pack it away. Yeah, it's broken up a little bit. Oh, it's got a sunroof. Check that out. <laughs> uh, That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he didn't before, but he does now. We right. modified it to today's yeah. Yeah. Uh, modern well, car. Well, it is hot today, so. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll put this away. Zoom, zoom into the pouch. Zoom, zoom into the pouch is right. And uh, we'll keep digging. Hang with us. All right. I found another car. I find these things all the time. I don't know what this one says on it. Something on the door. It's a CH something. Uh, can't really tell. Nothing too old. It's a little flattened. The mower must have got it. So, all right, on to the next. Well, I just got this one, and uh, not quite sure what it is. At first, I thought maybe it was a zipper pull, and it, maybe it still is. I don't know, but uh, rang up as a dime. It's got a little notch here, a little nub. So, not quite sure what it is. I'll clean it up a little bit better later, but uh, I don't see anything on it right now. So, right now it's the unknown. So, alright, we'll look at it later. See if we can get anything off of it. Alright, next signal. This came up really nice. It says on the back, it says American Design Century Works. Looks like some type of a, a watch fob or something. Pretty cool. I'll take it. Off we go.